What's up guys, JJTHC here, and today I have a review of the newer boom arm stand which is currently right here. When you only pay $13 for a boom arm stand, don't expect it to be very good at all. Now once you get it out, you will have two parts. You will have the actual clamp and you'll have the part that connects to your microphone which is actually the scissor boom arm stand, the actual part that will be holding your microphone. All you have to do is attach the clamp part to the desk just like I have right here and then you need to put the the scissor boom arm stand part into the hole of the clamp. After that at the other end is a metal kind of stick kind of, it's not a stick but you know what I mean it's this part right here and on the end of that is some threads where you can put a mic attachment so you can attach a mic to it. Now this one came with a plastic one which you only get about three uses of so and you can screw it in and unscrew it three times before it completely goes and it won't attach to it because it'll get stripped because it's made of plastic. Now if you're gonna buy this product please do not expect to hang your microphone upside down with this because, well, it is not sturdy, and with the plastic ring, it will not hold it. It'll just fall out after, well, eventually after some time, and it will make your microphone just pop out, and it will break the microphone, and that is not good. So my microphone right now is completely just sitting there. It's not even attached right now. It's just on the little ring, and I could literally just pull this thing off right now because it's not attached properly because I wore the ring down and I didn't know that after three times that you put it in, screw it in, and screw it out, it would mess up the ring. So to solve that problem, you can buy a metal ring that you can put on there and it should solve the problem and you could and you can uh, firmly attach it to the boom arm stand but I still would not trust hanging your microphone upside down with this boom arm stand. Now, why am I not throwing this away? Well, because I actually use it. It is on my desk. It is actually perfect for me because I have it there for when I'm like on Skype calls or doing voiceovers. And then whenever I need to record a video like this, I just swing it around and it's like in perfect position and it's not right here on the desk. It is actually right here in a better position to catch my voice. Giving this boom arm stand a rating from 1 to 10, knowing that you can buy over, you can spend well over $100 on these things, because of the price, I will give it a 6 out of 10, but just because of the price. Now, this is not the most sturdiest, best boom arm stand, but there, you have to have a price to pay if you want a really good one. And that's why this is rated 6 out of 10. This newer boom arm stand is great for the price. And you're not going to get a better one for $13. So, with my opinion, I would if you were looking for a cheap boom arm stand, I would go with the newer. But, if you want to have a bigger and like stronger one, then I would suggest the PS1 boom arm stand that is very well known and it is very expensive too so and very sturdy so I would go that with that one I will leave it I will leave a link in the description below if you want to check that one out anyway guys if you like this video go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe and leave a comment down below telling me what I should do next and if you really want to buy this boom arm stand, then I will leave a link in the description for it too, just along with the PS1. So if you want to buy any of those, they will be in the link in the description to buy them. Oh, and if they're not down there, then I probably forgot to put the links down in the description and just leave a comment telling me that I forgot. So anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, here's a message from Jordan.